Hey everyone, this is Nate Story with Bright Agri Tech, and today we're going to answer the question, how long should I keep my lights on my seedlings? So duration of light exposure for your seedlings is a great, great question that everyone should be answering. And um, for most crops, that is going to be 12 to 18 hours. So when you put your seedlings in, uh, you're going to turn your lights on for 12 hours or 18 hours, somewhere in that range. Now, you can turn your lights on for up to 24 hours with a lot of different seedlings. But here's the caveat. It depends on two things. It depends on the cost of your lighting and the cost of your real estate. So rack space in your seedling system, if you just have one seedling system or one area where you're able to grow these seedlings out, that's valuable space. And you have to think about that as a cost. On the other hand, you also have light and your electricity use. That is also a cost. So if you're in a place where you have lots of area to grow seedlings, you can afford to do shorter day length and less light intensity and move those seedlings much more slowly. However, if you're in a place where your real estate costs are high, where you have limited rack space, you have limited seedling space, you want to give them more light and move your seedlings a lot faster. So those are the two important things to think about as a grower. What do you care about more, your space or your electrical use? And uh, for us here at Bright Agro Tech, we kind of split the difference. We end up about you know, halfway between them. Most of our crops are on for about 14 hours a day and uh, we can push almost everything through in about two weeks. Um, at most for really slow growing stuff, about three weeks. So just think really carefully about what's most important to you. Is it real estate cost or is it light cost? If you're a home grower and you're doing it on a small scale and you don't really care about either the real estate cost or the cost of the lighting, um, then ten, I typically just say, just do it fast, right? So turn your lights on for 18 hours a day. You can turn them on for 20 a day for a lot of crops, even 24 hours a day. And you can move those seedlings a little bit faster. Now I'll tell you for most crops, you're just not gonna get a whole lot more out of them at 24 hours than you would at 18, okay? That's the reality. 18 is usually where they start to max out on their growth. So typically, if, if you're planning on turning them off, it's, if, it's, uh, you know, if it's not inconvenient for you to just turn those lights off, run them for 18 hours a day, make sure there's lots of good air circulation there, and you're gonna be really happy with the production you get. So one last thing to think about is if you're at 12 hours a day, and you're in this nice protective seedling environment, you will kinda wanna harden off those seedlings before they go into the main system. Now, hardening usually is referring to like, uh, getting them accustomed to lower humidity, getting them accustomed to cold, that kind of thing. But it's also getting them accustomed to um, the light. Basically, the light levels are going to experience in the main system. Transplanting re results in a lot of shock for these seedlings. So they'll shock, they'll slow down. They won't grow as fast when they first go in. And for you as a producer, that's an important thing because that lowers your productivity overall. So you want to minimize shock. And the way that we do that is we ramp up our light we drop our humidity, we more closely make our seedling system variables resemble those of our main system as we get closer and closer to transplanting day. That's something that's really important to think about because it may mean you need to go from 12 hours of light to 18 hours of light. And you may need to go from 100% relative humidity down to 70 or 60 to make sure that your seedlings aren't too shocked when they go from seedling into the grow out system. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Um, as always, please subscribe. And if you have any comments or thoughts, we'd love to hear them below.